I have got something absolutely spectacular from Motorholic today. Check this out. This is a Concorde Centurion 990 Gi. They're made in Germany and it is a spectacular piece of kit. I'm going to give you the full tour of this one. We're going to go right around the outside, show you all around the outside, but it's the inside I think you will be most impressed with. Now this is a seriously big vehicle. It's just under 10 meters long. It's 15 tons, so you need a HGV drive and license for this one. It's powered by a Mercedes-Benz engine. It's a 7.7 litre six-cylinder engine, so it's properly big in all departments. It's an incredible piece of kit. We'll start, as I say, on the outside. I'm going to show you a few things as we go around, and then we'll head on in and show you the interior. So this is basically just a big pass-through storage area here. If we move on back a bit, all of this is a service area for all of the electrics in here and also the 240 volt pickup is here as well underneath that we've got the gas tank this one then is water system so you've got drains for the fresh water the gray water and the holding tank we've always got water pump in here the hot water boiler is in here there's even a little shower in here so if you want to wash stuff off before you put it away then you can do and if we come right on back, this I think is the most intriguing thing. The little ramps might give it away, but what you've got here is a garage. This is an actual garage for a car in the back. So this will take something like a smart car. And what you do is these ramps come down, use the air suspension to lower the back of the vehicle to make it a smoother ramp in. And then you'll notice just up here, there's a winch. Obviously, you can't drive it in. Well, you could, but you'd never get out once you're in. So you hook the winch on and you winch it in. That's how that works. And obviously, winch it back out when you're done. Inverter is over here as well on that side. A little headrest up here too. I'll show you what that's for when we go inside. But yeah, that's pretty impressive. And I like the way that the door opens because it powers up so that you can still get it open, even if you're fairly close to something at the back. Obviously, you wouldn't then be able to get the vehicle out, but at least you can get into it. There's more access from the side again here similar sort of deal if we come on back here then we've got more storage areas in places like this and here i think i'm right in saying batteries are in behind there as well i'm not certain but i think that's where they are now the steps obviously fold out so when you're motoring they are retracted away when you stop you push a button and they power out the other thing that you've got on here is coded access. So for example, if you're using this vehicle uh, as part of a motor racing team and you wanted to give the uh, crew access, you could keep it locked, give them a code number. They don't all need to have a key and obviously <laughs> aren't all able to lose the key. The switches down here, this is for the steps in and out, some of the lighting, that kind of thing is controlled from there. So you can get to that straight away without even coming into the vehicle. And then we come inside, it's a really nice finish in here so we've got the light leather we've got the matte dark wood the cream finishings in places like this air conditioning in this one as well habitat air conditioning it's a really nice setup let's go right to the front and we'll work our way back it's automatic transmission there's also a camera system on this one if you look over here I don't know how you can see that you can see the camera system that's looking around the vehicle obviously when you're maneuvering that is extremely useful um, there are blinds, of course, that come across all these windows here for privacy. An armrest that drop down. It's a really nice, comfortable place to be. Obviously, quite important if you're looking at doing some serious touring. These are storage areas. So all of these open like so. There's a TV mounted over here as well. And this is nice. You've got basically like a desk area here with this seat and you notice it's got a seat belt on here as well that's how you can travel with four because you've got seat belts of course on these front ones here and that one over there is where that headdress that we saw goes you can just see the seat belt poking out over there what else have we got that we can show you this again is little bits of storage up here it's for your drinks as you can see at the top there this one is control systems so this one here for example there we go. We can light that up and that's giving us access to the lighting. You can go into um, climate control on here. Um, that's the um, electrical systems. So you can see where the power is coming to and from. So the solar power, you've got a generator, all that kind of stuff. And you can see the condition of things like the service battery and the engine battery and so on. Heating controls are here as well. Also, the automatic levelling system is controlled from here. So that all closes away 
alike. So this is switching for the lights. And if we come on around this way, then we've got this nice, comfortable seating area just here. These have all got blinds that drop down over them, the windows open. And then back here is the kitchen. So they've used kind of the whole section right across here. So we've got on this side refrigeration. We've got the cooker here as well, as you can see. And if we spin on around this way, then it is the, the hob. You've got power in places like this. Some really nice lighting in here as well. They've done a nice job with that. Sink is over here. Decent size and a little smaller one as well. Uses a drainer or whatever. And as you'd expect, loads of storage about the place. Like this. I wouldn't open it all, but just to give you a flavor. Yeah, plenty of places to put things away. I love this surface on here as well. That is really smart and the glass splashback all the way around there. If we go to this side, we mentioned the fridge and we mentioned the, um, the oven. That's just bits of storage at the top. And then here we've got like a kind of pantry area really. So places to put all your food and that kind of stuff. Another one just there. And then more drawers down underneath. And then back again, this is the bathroom. Again, they've used the full width of the vehicle, made it a really generous size. There is a sliding door that comes across here, so you can close that off. It's like a pocket door that slides out from that wall. And then back here, we've got the sink, we've got the loo. Again, bits of storage everywhere, as you might expect behind here for example it's up here and so forth and then the showers on this side look at this that is properly nice isn't it rainfall shower lovely and you've got the one shower there as well look at the lighting here as well they've done such a nice job with this it's so well finished absolutely fantastic there's skylights all the way through here by the way so these all open to give it more ventilation, you can see them down here. Well, that one doesn't. That's got a vent on it, actually. And, uh, and another opening one just down there. So you get a lot of light into here. And another thing worth mentioning, just while I'm pointing the camera this way, is that this is all one level all the way through here. No steps. So that works well. The only place where there's steps is when we come back here, because there's two steps up then to the bedroom. And of course, this is over the garage and that needs a little bit more height. That's why that is done like that. There's another sliding door here. So that just closes off. I love the way it's curved. <laughs> That's really nice. These clip back, of course, when you are driving. And then this is the bedroom. Look at that. It's just utter luxury, isn't it? I love the lighting they put up in the ceiling. That looks really good. We've got TV in here again like so. Blinds on the windows, as you'd expect. We've got another overhead skylight. The blind is across on that one at the minute. If I come up here and do that, I should be able to open it. Yeah, there we go. And again, that's an opening one. That's what that little cranking handle there is for. So that is a very nice, comfortable, proper bedroom right at the back. Let's come over here. There we go. Shelving in this one, if I remember rightly. And then there's a hanging locker right next to it. So that is just here and a bit more shelving again. So that makes this a really nice dressing area. So you've got bedroom, dressing area, shower, toilet, all of that. And then through here, kitchen and lounge. That is brilliant. That is such a smart, classy looking vehicle, isn't it? Fantastic. So that's it. That is the Concord Centurion 990 Gi. <laughs> I've just discovered we have suspension seats. <laughs> that's rather smart. Um, huge thanks to Southdown Motorhome Centre. They've organised this tour for me. Massive thanks, of course, to you guys for watching. But let me know what you think of this one, and we'll catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.